Well, good morning from the Nugget Nest. I think that's what we named it. I don't remember. It was more than yesterday. Yeah, it was a couple days ago. Back on the site prep area for the Nugget, guys. Um, need to, I'm going to get the tractor over here. Obviously, I have my burn pile, so I need to kind of spread that out a bit and... I'm gonna use some of that to fill in holes. And then I wanna work kind of this entrance area. I know you can't quite see it yet, but I need to get it smoothed out. Um, make a, try to make a nice transition. The ground is still wet enough from that rain the other day that I should be able to work the ground without it being too difficult. Um, but I'm gonna jump on a tractor, try to get this leveled up and a little looking a little better it's not going to be perfect level so i know that i'm gonna to have to do boards but the idea is so i don't have big dips that's trapping water um and then uh just making it look much gooder i don't know how to say it right so i'm gonna set y'all up and i'm gonna go fire up the tractor let it warm up a minute and we're gonna to get to work <laughs> Time to get this a little more flat now. Well, yeah, we're just back to work. the video it's uploading y'all should go and watch it so my hard work was not in vain <laughs> but i am now out here i'm exhausted but we've got to get this site ready for benny and eric uh for the beloved uh what what they name it nugget nest I the think. nugget nest yes the nugget nest 
So See, I, I am right. gonna. I told you. I'm gonna start uh, wood chipping because uh, we don't have time to get gravel in or anything like that, and so wood chips, a mulch will be better than nothing. So that's what I'm gonna do. As if I, didn't, I haven't had enough headphones on for today. What? Huh? Huh? I have a hearing impunction. <laughs> All right, let's go. Easy McPeasy. That's a lot of mulch. But we still have till tomorrow. They're in southern Indiana right now. They'll wake up in the morning and head to Arkansas. Now I'm gonna take a Claritin because I'm covered in pollen. Sneezing. Yeah. But I've still gotta cook. Make you cookies. And shower and well, shower first. I got laundry to put in the dryer. Okay, you heard it folks. I don't know, I'm debating. I know she's, mama's got to get dinner and do all that other stuff. I'm debating if I want to keep mulching a little bit and get some more loads while we have daylight or not. So, 
I don't know, we'll figure it out and we'll bring you back later and show you what it was like because well, it's shoving stuff in there and then dumping the bag, so. All right, guys, we'll get her done, don't worry. Well, good morning from the Rich. Good morning. It's a beautifully warm day, but it is overcast, so at least we don't have the sun shining in our eyes. But we are T minus one day until our ridge guests arrive. We, and we got saved this morning, y'all. We honestly thought they were coming today. <laughs> so we were like, oh man, I got the nugget set in place like right before we dinner. We could finally breathe. We and, mulched and then it was like. And we know that they don't expect it. It's pressure we put on ourselves to make the environment as wonderful as always. But we have a few things that we need to get done. I've got laundry going. Uh, for all the bedding in the nugget so that they all have fresh clean everything uh, But the site was not nearly as level as we were hoping it was So we have to build a stoop Yeah, because it's uh, the front corner guys is sitting on two cinder blocks plus some orange spacers and And Vinay's short. Yeah, so the yeah. the stoop is like the the bottom step even with the steps folded out are two Feet, yeah. two and a half feet. I think yeah. the bottom of the door to get in is at like my belly button level. So <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna build a stoop today uh, just because we have to. And it'll be great because it, this isn't just for this weekend's guests. This is for any guests that decide to come to the Ridge. Yeah, eventually when I can actually grade, grade this mm -hmm. out and we're gonna put gravel and stuff. So we will get it down to where it's a flat level site to where I don't need multiple cinder blocks to jack it up and we don't need no weird steps to get in it. It's all gonna be like ground level, so. Yeah. So we're gonna get started on that. Thanks for coming along with Journey. If you haven't yet, click like and subscribe, share it out to your friends. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get moving. I just found a spoon in the dirt. It looks like real silver. The random things you find, y'all. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, gosh, you got me, y'all. So in keeping with uh, not wanting to spend, we have scoured the property for salvage lumber. And we have found some. We have some, what is that? Two by six, two by eight? Two by eight. Two by eight leftover from a deck that we salvaged in Michigan a couple years ago. So we have that. And then we've got some deck boards also that and we I've, salvaged. I've got some new deck boards still underneath the porch from when we did ours. So if, which I'm pretty sure these will be enough, but if it's not, we've got more. And we also have the sawmill too, if the need be. But since it is ground contact, we would like to work more with the treated. Uh, so, all right. What's the plans, baby? I don't have none. A three by three? Yes, a three by three. And if we do it, because that board is exactly 12 feet, so. If we, we do it correctly, we'll. Right. It, as long as we take, you know, two will be exactly three, and then the other ones will be three inches shy of that. So we'll be perfect. I just hope that three foot, I don't think, lands at where one of those four by fours is, but. Probably they not. Are, we'll have to knock them off, cut them off, whatever. Do it, Les. Yeah. Okay, so either way, I think. Either we're... way. we're down to one camera GoPro number one has glitched quite severely so huh all right one angle one camera we'll try to make it interesting we just gotta make it simple around here we're getting over complicated so yeah 
Look at the work you're just staring at me. I did all this cutting and I did three of the cuts, you did up one. Tools. Is that, look how you're lined up on your step though. Is that where we need to? No. Like right there. Are you working today? Oh, nice. gonna be jealous she doesn't have a stoop like this it'll do the job right well it's holding big booty Judy so I mean that's a plus oh that's nice but this will make sure that our guests are safe and can comfortably get into the nugget. So, I got some goodies. What? 
she goes away with a side by side and comes back with all kinds of stuff. Oh well, yeah, gotta make it look cute. I think this is going to make a great little campsite for guests. I don't know, Benet, tell me what you think. I like it. Well, hi guys. So, meet Eric. Hi. You know, fancy meeting a whole bunch of Eric's around this place, right? So we're going to have a little bit of fun. We had some fun last night. We had a really great time. Big bonfire. It worked out perfect. Got got rid of some more of the scrap from there. Plus I had a bunch of brush that was in the way of the mill, but look at it, we did. Uh, there, there's one little thing though. It's a little long. So went up and we well, got the chainsaw. I'm gonna lop this off at probably just over 16 feet cause that's what the mill can handle and then We'll get that all set up and this will be the first time that you've run on a sawmill, right? Yeah. So they, they've come down. This is, uh, this is Eric, his wife, Benet, and Tara and, uh, her, what, well, Benet graduated a year before, but they were cheerleaders. They did all this yah, rah, shish, bang, ba stuff back then. So, uh, but they've come to visit and you guys have known that we're talking about it. They're loving the nugget area and how that's set up. So we're happy with that because if they like it, then we know we'll like it because we're way simpler. Um, but it's working out perfect. So yeah, we're going to give them their first round of milling up some logs. This isn't the greatest looking log, but we should be able to get a couple two by fours because you know, buildings don't go up on their own. So, all right, let's get you set up and let's get a little work done.
got a bleep button. Are you ready to go buy one now? Yeah. Yeah, let's get to milling at home. Yeah, before I go spend all that money, two by fours and The money you yeah. could spend on the two by fours, you could just buy one of these and then mill it yourself. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I like it. You do that on your day off. You got it. All right, we're gonna keep going at it. So we'll check in with you in a little bit. But we're getting we're getting a stack of lumber going here, folks. Hey, Chico, wanna go for a ride? I wish you'd warm it up, though. I know, 50 degrees is not cool. It was so warm. Benet and I. Here. It was. Benet and I are going down to the creek by ourselves. It's my first time. I hope we don't get lost. So we're gonna take you guys okay. along with us. Ready? Yes. Here we go. All right. It's a cold weather. Side by side, or a hot weather. Warm. It doesn't like cold. That's what I'm trying to say. We did it. Oh, that was nerve wracking. So I'm gonna give her a tour of the creek and all the good stuff of where everything's gonna go. We're just gonna enjoy it for a hot minute. Yeah. So, isn't it beautiful? It is. All right guys, our time down here at the river or at the creek. Oh. Does it have to end? All right, we'll try again. <laughs> what are you taking home from the ridge? I'm taking some really cool rocks. Uh-huh. Yep. It is. I mean, and I could stay down here way longer and get way more, but yeah, I think I'm good for now. Yeah. So you guys have a big, big, uh, exciting couple next days coming to you. Yep. Yep. France and Missouri. I know. And we do some shows and we wanted to go. We really did. We were trying to figure out how we were going to work it out, but with us leaving for Tennessee next week to go back home to my dad's, there's just you got lots. Got do. a lot to do. So unfortunately, our visit is coming to an end yep. with Penny and Eric, and I'm so glad and grateful that you guys came down. Me too. It has been amazing. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. And we're probably we'll be uh, making another trip down yeah. soon. Yeah. Possibly this summer, so. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it's just so beautiful down here. Honestly, we should have just, well, yesterday was kind of an even more worse or colder crazy day, but it's it's one of those where you come down here, you just want to pack a picnic mm -hmm. and stay down here all day and just yeah. think and contemplate life. And there's just a peace down here. Peaceful it is quiet and yeah, yeah, nothing like it. And lots of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna end this video here because you know no one likes sappy, teary, tearful goodbyes. Right. So we appreciate you guys being here with us for our visit. We hope you liked the nugget nest that you guys all named uh, yeah. and that worked out that really, was, really nice. Yeah, and I, I honestly, we ended up hanging out in the nugget last night. We weren't even in the tiny house. We sat around the table at the nugget and just talked and laughed. And I think I might have fallen asleep sitting up. <laughs> Could have been the I butter. My shoulder Could have been the butter off. shot. I don't know. Yeah. But so thank you guys so much and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out Peace from out. the ridge. From the ridge.